Federal Reserve cuts rates to zero and launches massive $700 billion quantitative easing program. Hello there, my friends. Chris Mark is here with you for Arcadia Economics. And well, there you go. Today it finally happened. Federal Reserve cuts rates to zero and launches massive $700 billion quantitative easing program. And it turned out in the end, it was a Sunday night special. There's a press conference coming at 6 p.m. Eastern, right as the markets open. And wow, sure will be interesting to see what happens, especially as those gold and silver markets open in the Far East. Here we have an emergency move Sunday. The Federal Reserve announced it's dropping its benchmark interest rate to zero. Uh, QE program will entail $700 billion worth of asset purchases, entailing treasuries and mortgage backs. Wow. Uh, Fed saying coronavirus has harmed communities, cut interest rates to near zero on Sunday. And again, it's further interesting. This is following a series of announcements this past week. Yet nonetheless, the Fed furthered the action this week, also slashed the rate of emergency lending at the discount window for banks by 125 basis points to 0.25% while lengthening the term of the loan to 90 days. Uh, new Fed funds rate used as a benchmark for short-term lending and uh, as a financial peg to many consumer rates will now be targeted at zero to 0.25 percent. This one was interesting too. The Fed also cut reserve requirement ratios for thousands of banks to zero. In addition, in a global coordinated move by central banks, the Fed said the Bank of Canada, the Bank of England, the Bank of Japan, the European Central Bank, the Fed, and the Swiss National Bank took action to enhance dollar liquidity amount around the world through existing dollar swap arrangements. Um, wow, lowered the rate on the swap line, swap line loans and extended the period for such loans. The actions by the Fed appear to be the largest single day set of moves the bank had ever taken mirroring in many ways its efforts during the financial crisis. Quantitative easing will take the form of 500 billion of treasuries, 200 billion of agency mortgage-backed securities, and it will begin on Monday. Wow, and this was after the Fed injected a trillion and a half this past week, and then had to accelerate that schedule by Friday, and now having to further accelerate it by Sunday. Uh, and the Fed added, it is prepared to use its full range of tools to support the flow of credit to households and businesses. Um, though it was not entirely clear that the meeting took place, whether that will replace the meet, regularly scheduled meeting this Wednesday. Um, certainly would be interesting to see if there's further action taken by Wednesday. There's now three out of the last five days the Fed has taken action which is concerning because kind of indicates that what they tried before had not uh, stemmed the tide. Um, as we see here, the move follows several actions. And just as a reminder, here is on Thursday, Fed injects trillion and a half in a bid. This was to prevent unusual disruptions in the treasury market, which uh, was a little concerning to me. Then Friday, that had worsened. And... Um, by Friday morning, Fed announced it would purchase later in the day roughly half of some of the $80 billion in Treasury securities it had said Thursday would be purchased over the next month. And so then we get today's announcement. Um, perhaps by the time you're watching this, the gold and silver markets will have been open. It's about 25 minutes away from the time I'm recording. Yet of interesting note, here is from JM Bullion. Uh, who was experiencing shortage, uh, shortages with yesterday being our largest sales day of all time, uh, three to five X increase in order volume. So while the metals have been just pounded over these last couple weeks, uh, people buying a lot of physical, again, here's the same from Bullion Star reporting a supply squeeze. The enormous increase in demand is straining our supply chains. And what have we always talked about on this channel was just the idea that 
gee, you already have a fragile supply chain out there as it is, and um, you put more pressure, let alone that we actually have physical shortages of goods due to the virus. Again, here, uh, U.S. Mint has announced a shortage of physical silver following a huge surge in demand for precious metals. So what I'm a little confused by would be if we can get our Kitco silver chart to pull up here. Come on, baby. Come on, Kitco. Where's my silver chart? Um, well, not that one just yet, but we'll try Googling Kitco live silver to see how that plays out. There is the one I'm looking for. Thank you for your kind patience. Here you can see even as of Thursday, silver was 16 and a half. Now we're looking at 1469 to 1479. Um, gee, I hope I get my book, The Big Silver Short, out in time because it was all about the short squeeze that I expected to happen in the silver market, which could be playing out as we speak. Um, because again, you had one and a half trillion, an acceleration of that, and then QE and interest rate cuts to zero. So will be fascinating to see what happens in the gold and silver markets and in the world. Uh, I hope as always that you're being safe out there and enjoying your weekend. Sorry, this is the news on, the, on a Sunday night. Many of us have always wondered if it would be a Sunday night announcement. And I think we are into a new round of this economic saga. Um, just aside from the conditions of the coronavirus from a monetary standpoint between what the Fed is doing and then what the president is doing. Uh, wow, just a lot of money flowing out there right now and how long the gold and silver markets will be contained at current levels. We will see, but in either case, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I have a feeling we'll have no shortage of fascinating things happening. And I will be keeping you posted here. And for a little more information on what's been going on this past week, just click that button that's about to appear now, and I will see you again soon. Thanks.